it's common for us to get asked, you know, how does prolotherapy compare to various injection therapies like orthokine? Orthokine has been getting a lot of publicity because certain athletes have been getting uh, those injection. It is an injection technique and it does decrease the pain of conditions like osteoarthritis. And how orthokine works is it blocks interleukin-1. Interleukin-1 is a catabolic cytokine. Cytokine are chemicals that help with intercellular communication. The net effect of, cyto, uh, of uh, interleukin-1 is interleukin-1 will accelerate the breakdown of articular cartilage. So the net effect of getting an orthokine injection is some pain relief. The problem is orthokine doesn't stimulate healing. Like in other words, what is the cause of the articular cartilage breakdown? Most of the time, it's because the person has an unstable joint. You know, they're, they're a basketball player, they're a baseball player, they're a runner, and they have injury to their meniscus or their ligaments in their knee or the labrum in the hip or the shoulder. And what ends up happening is because the joint is unstable, you know, there's too much movement, there's shear forces on the cartilage, on the meniscus. So the actual cause of the articular cartilage breakdown structurally, it's not because there's too much interleukin-1, it's because there's ligament laxity or there's ligament injury or there, the meniscus isn't healthy. So a better treatment option is to stimulate healing. So the way you stimulate healing is by prolotherapy. Prolotherapy is an injection technique that stimulates healing. So if it was me and you want to get rid of your knee pain, shoulder pain, hip pain, or arthritic pain, a better solution would be do prolotherapy into the structures that are injured. So in the knee, it's going to be the meniscus, some of the ligaments. You know, so get those things tightened and then normally with prolotherapy, uh, after three to six visits, you know, you're pain free, you can go start running again. The problem is if you stop the reason, the chemical, if you stop the chemical of why you have pain. So let's say you have an athlete, they're a basketball player, and their knee joint swells. And one of the reasons that the knee joint would swell is because of, there's too much interleukin-1 in the joint. Like that's the chemical reason. But the structural reason is they got ligament injury of the knee. So if you stop the signal, which is the interleukin-1, you know, causing the knee joint to swell, and you, because you got an orthokine injection, it might seem like, oh, wow, look, I can, I can run, I can jump. But the knee joint's still unstable, except now you can't swell the joint. So in other words, the protective mechanism inside your knee joint, you don't have it anymore. So what's going to happen long term? What's going to happen five years down the road, ten years down the road? Because isn't that how anti-inflammatories and corticosteroid injections work? Why, why do a $10,000 orthokine injection? Why not just take a whole bunch of anti-inflammatories? Take a whole bunch of anti-inflammatories or get a real potent corticosteroid injection in there. You're not going to feel the pain, then go run. Yeah, go run to your heart's delight. But long term, your knee our osteoarthritis is just going to get worse. It's just going to get worse. So a much better <coughs> solution is going to be do prolotherapy into the knee joint, hip joint, shoulder joint. has a lot more potential to give long-lasting curative results. I mean, that's what basically people want. So to me, there's no comparison between orthokine and prolotherapy. Prolotherapy is much, much better.